Hey beautiful people, welcome back. I'm Adam Welch. Today we're going to be talking about three super simple ways that you can add a border, simple or otherwise, to your photos in Lightroom or Photoshop. Now they are all extremely easy. I promise we're going to start out with the most simple and then move our way up the line. To get started here, I have Lightroom Classic CC opened up, and just so you know, I have uh, the latest version here, which at the time of the video was 921. You can do these in any version of Lightroom in Photoshop. It's just a couple of things, maybe in different places, but it's not going to be anything that you can't figure out. Now, this first way I'm going to show you here in Lightroom is super easy. It's embarrassingly easy. It's in plain sight, but for whatever reason, not very many people have heard of it before. It is also the most limited, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, to add your border, just go down to Transform here in the Develop module of Lightroom. Click Transform. Look for the Scale slider. This is the important one. And to add your simple white border around this photo, just click and drag the scale slider to the left yeah and that's it you've just added a wide border to your photograph now you can just enter in your values manually here depending on your photo usually 95 96 depending on the size of the border works pretty well but that's really about it the only drawback to this method uh, although it is extremely easy is that of course you're limited to one color the white border and it's going to be something that you can only add to a photo that you're not going to crop anymore because when you crop the border or crop the image with the border on it it's not going to do it in relation to the border so let's say if I wanted to put the picture here you do that and it looks all wonky and nobody wants that now the good thing about using this method here in Lightroom is that you can keep on processing your photo it's not going to affect that border at all because we are actually changing the size of the picture in relation to the background canvas. So super easy way. I really want you to try that and tell me what you think about it. The second method I'm going to show you to add a border here in Lightroom to your images is in the print module. So as soon as you have the print module opened up, go up to the layout style. You're going to want to make sure your layout style is selected as single image or contact sheet and then go down to image settings. Make sure the stroke border option is clicked here. And all, the do to, all you need to do to add your border is just adjust this width. And that's going to add an equidistant border around your photo. It goes up to 20 points. You have a little ruler up here at the top. That's going to be roughly a half inch uh, border around your image, a quarter inch to half inch. I really don't know the exact measurements there, but you can guesstimate it using that ruler. And you may be asking, well, can I change it to any color but black? Yes, you can. Now this is a little bit, I think Adobe tried to hide it from us, but uh, if you click the little color here, of course you're opened up to nothing but monochromatic. It's all shades of gray. It's not very obvious how you would change the colors here, but let me show you how to do it. Take your pointer, your cursor, hover over this bar here to the right. There's a little slider at the bottom and just raise that up. Look at all those beautiful colors. And this is the cool part. You're free to pick any color border that you want. How cool is that? Very cool, if I may say so myself. So uh, let's just put a dark blue border around that. Exit out. Now the thing about adding the border inside the print module is that you're virtually done at this point. You can't actually edit this photo anymore over into the develop module. So that's kind of a drawback, but kind of not, because I would actually advise adding your border at the very last part of your editing, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more why I feel that way when we move over to Photoshop. But it's um, a great way to add a different color border without ever leaving Lightroom, and I think that goes a long way. Now, you may be asking, too, how do you get this out of Lightroom? Well, the easiest thing to do is go down to Page, oh, excuse me, go down to Print Job, and you want to select print to it's going to be set to printer by default change that just click on those two little arrows to jpeg file you're going to be given some options very similar to your export dialog just uh, select the quality that you want uh, a few other things here that's going to be up to you and then you just click print file and that's going to push it over to any location that you choose now to do this we're back with our original image we're going to add a little bit of a border around there, a little bit of a white border. 
from here we're going to go back over to the print module and uh, look at that you can already see where I'm where I'm headed here that white border that we added in the develop module stays it remains even though we're here in the print module and now we are free to change that up black and white always looks really good here for a border now we're left with a fairly albeit simple border but a complex duotone border that we can then print a file and have ready for us to mat in a frame very 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 cool okay folks the third way I'm going to show you how to put a border around your pictures is going to be done inside of Photoshop but don't let that intimidate you I promise this is going to be no more difficult than what we've already done here I'm telling you trust me so we're going to kick this image over into Photoshop 2020 and I'm going to show you how to do it okay so we've got this bad boy kicked over into Photoshop and we are using I think I mentioned it earlier but uh, we'll take a look again this is Photoshop 2112 of uh, Adobe Photoshop 2020 to add your border all we're going to do is change the canvas size in relation to our picture it's virtually the same concept as we were doing in Lightroom but we're going to do it a little bit different but like I said it's no big deal folks I promise to change your canvas size we're going to go up to image go to shocker canvas size click on that you can also get to that by using keyboard shortcut alt control C for Windows or option command C for Mac so we're going to click on this this is going to give us a few options and this is where we're going to have the most control over our borders you can change how your border is measured to quite a few options I like to leave it on inches of course that's what I usually measure things by but of course you can go with the centimeters or millimeters or any multitude of other measuring things I just like to use the um, inches or the centimeters or the millimeters because that gives me more or less a real-time view at least in my mind of how big my border is going to be compared to the rest of my picture we're going to leave everything the same here except for our width and height so let's say I wanted to add a one inch border around this picture remember that is going to be a one inch border around the entire image so instead of putting one inch we're going to put or add actually two inches because that's going to be split in half with either side of our photo so we have 33 inches width we're going to go to 35 inches width and do the same thing if we want an equidistant border that is you can change it to anything you want but uh, here I want it the same size all the way around so I'm changing that to 24 I'm going to leave the color to white but we'll change that here in a minute click OK and boom there you go instant white border around there there are some ways you can spice this up though and that's what I'm going to show you next okay so let's say we want to add a more complex border around this this is great for when you're posting your images to social media if you're left with a white background putting a white border around your image may not be the best thing to do because it's just going to more or less make the image appear to be shrunken so when you have a white border it's good to surround it with something maybe a little bit darker to help frame your photo better so to do this we're going to go back to our canvas size let's make that uh, I'm gonna put a white border around this but let's make that border a little bit smaller this time so let's say we did a one inch border last time let's do a half inch border so we're going to add one inch to our overall dimensions and let's change that yeah let's leave that at black so that's going to add a half inch border around this entire picture to add a white border around the black border we're going to go to canvas size again let's half that again let's just go like a very thin white border we're going to add a half inch we'll change that to six and that to six as well change this to white that's going to put a small border around that now here's the kicker we can add as many of these as we want so I'm going to add another small black border around that second white border by adding another half inch that's going to make that 35.1 and another half inch here making that 24.1 you know what let's let's use another color a custom color just so you had you uh, you know how to do that click other that's going to open up your little color palette here 
Um, well, you can do anything you want. Let's make something really, really loud here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Neon green. Why not? Click OK. And there's your neon green border. Beautiful. Now I'm going to put this over into Lightroom because there are some pitfalls that I'm going to show you how to avoid if you add a border to your picture in Photoshop but want to process it a little bit more after you've added your border. We've got our photo back here in Lightroom and this is what you really have to watch out for and this is a reason why you probably want to save your borders for your very last edit. Since we've added this border in Photoshop, this is now part of your photo. Lightroom doesn't see this as a border, a larger canvas size. This is the same as the rest of your picture. So whenever you add a edit, that is going to change everything. If I adjust the highlights, you can see that green in the border starts to dull down. The white starts to dull down. If I add a local adjustment, like a graduated filter tool, this is what you really have to watch out for. If you're not careful, you can see, let's say if I wanted to down that exposure, when I look at the picture on the whole, this whole area has been darkened on the peripheral while this remains the same. So that's going to be really, really obvious to your viewers. So watch out for that. Again, I really urge you to save your borders for the very last for this very reason. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this super quick tutorial on how to make simple borders inside of Lightroom and Photoshop. If you have any questions about this, of course, you know where to put them. Until next time, I'm Adam Welch. Thanks a lot for being here, folks.